Hello everyone, this is Lana and you're watching Angel Swag News. Today we have an interesting episode about the Make.com platform. Um, I'll briefly show you how AI agents currently work in the beta version on Make.com. And we'll also take a quick look at the new visual map called Make Grid. And I'd like to briefly mention that um, Make is no longer just a platform, it's a visual operating system where each agent acts as a team member, uh, like a neuron in the brain, capable of thinking, making decisions, planning tasks, and giving instructions to other participants in the process. So stay tuned, uh, it's going to be interesting. Please like and subscribe because I'm preparing some really interesting episodes for you that will cover not only automation, but also visuals that is production and analysis of various neural networks. And if there are any questions you'd like to discuss soon, um, write them in the comments and um, I'll prepare episodes on, on those topics. And don't forget to hit the bell. Let's get started. When you hear the term AI agent, many people think of a chatbot. But an agent on make.com isn't just a chatterbox, it's a task executor. It has intelligence. It also thinks like GPT or Claude, but it's not actually a GPT chat or another language model itself. It collaborates with them. Next, you can set a system prompt. In other words, you give it guidance on how to think, how to respond, and what kind of result you want to get as output. You can also upload specific files there. That is the knowledge base you want to equip your AI agent with. And most importantly, there are tools here that you provide for it to take action. You describe the goal and the agent decides on its own what to do. If you don't specify the steps, it figures out on its own which steps it needs. And in the example of the automation I'll show you today, this is the most basic thing. You'll see the difference between when the agent thinks for itself and when there's a mistake. But uh, before we dive into our AI agent, uh, I'd like to draw your attention to the new integrations on make.com that were introduced this summer. I've prepared just 15 that I consider interesting. You can choose for yourself which ones suit you best. I'll start with an interesting new addition, AI21 Labs which creates text summaries and paraphrases. Ad manage, AI, cross-platform advertising campaigns, alt textify, text generation for, for SEO, Anchor, creates documents and signatures. Flicky works with uh, text that is transformed into video voiceovers and subtitles. Bird handles SMS and voice IP calls. Concealer OSR, Document recognition, letter mind, sending physical letters. By the way, this is a really great thing for Germany. Speechmatics, speech recognition in multiple languages. Pictory, which creates videos from a link or a presentation. Couch drop, secure SFTP data robot, predictive AI models. Explorium, external business analytics, smart car is an API needed for cars, and Visup is responsible for event automation. You can explore everything else yourself on the make.com platform. Let's start with what AI agents are. Let me say that AI agents are a powerful artificial intelligence system that can manage workflows with minimal human intervention. For your AI agent to work well, you need to set the right parameters. I want to mention that during the process of automation, I often encountered significant difficulties connecting my email accounts to the make.com platform. I was constantly getting denied. And it said that the server was unverified, that the, that the Google platform would not accept it. Integromat or make.com comma required me to go through a bunch of steps just to connect the two systems. Why is that? Our email contains confidential information. Make.com does not take full responsibility for information leaks. That's why I had to go to the Google developer site and connect special secret keys to the script in order to be able to automate our email distribution. So if you have any questions during the process, write them in the comments under this video. I will go through them individually and explain where you need to go and what you need to do. 
it's impossible to show and explain everything. You need to understand that. But those who seek will always find. Now, I'll briefly go over the automation I created over the past few days. You see how the AI agent interacts with us in our scenario, and we'll draw some brief conclusions about how this can be applied on a larger scale. Now, let's start with what exactly I did with the AI agent. My task was to show the simplest, most basic example of automating client requests. To do this, I went in, uh, created three applications in Google Forms uh, with different links and posted them on YouTube in the video description. So when the client wants to contact me about automation or about creating AI videos, or maybe they need advertising, they choose the link that matches the topic of their request and send it to me. What happens next? In this scenario, the request from the form goes into Google Sheets, that is into a spreadsheet, and then using an iterator, the tasks are distributed to the AI agent. The AI agent determines which request came in, what name, what email, the subject, and then processes this and sends it to the Slack channel. In Slack, the appropriate manager sees the request for the topic and selects their task. Uh, that is, the agent either writes to the employee responsible for automation or video or advertising. And then uh, the employee who picks up the request in the channel marks it as yes, no, or think about it. Uh, and the client, or rather the potential client who submitted the request, receives an email response saying that we are processing your request. Please wait, someone will contact you. And then in my Google Sheets table, I get the status from the manager who picked up the request in the Slack channel, and it's marked as either uh, completed under review or still not processed and, and shows as new. What's the advantage of this simple scheme? First of all, I don't have to manually catch this Google Forms request and figure out myself who to write to and what to say by email. So you can already see that this saves time. Plus, all the information is kept in a Google Sheets list. Later, uh, you can connect a data storage solution to expand the memory. Um, and then you can also add um, a special scheme with an AI agent that will distribute this thread into different channels to differentiate them. Uh, in other words, not, uh, not all uh, requests would go into a single channel, but into different channels, and each manager would handle the request in their own channel. Um, so it all depends on the scale of the issue and the amount of work. Let's continue. Now I'll briefly explain what the AI agent actually does and how to set it up. Basically, look, uh, here we go to the Make AI Agent tab and Create an Agent. I've already created these agents before. You'll need to use the new tab to create one and connect a specific service provider, either OpenAI, Grok, or Gemini AI. You select from the list. Next, you need to give it a name, choose a model, and write a system prompt. The prompt is about what task your agent should perform for your scenario. My task was to distribute the request. If you don't know how to write this prompt, then you need to click the Improve button to enhance the prompt request. What else? Here you can upload files files in PDF, DOC, JSON formats, and others. You can also connect uh, MCP servers. These are servers where you can integrate with payment systems. For example, distributing locations. Uh, using Appify or Wix, the um, website builder and so on, including Macom. It all depends on your specific task. Here, I also connected my scenarios through tools. So now they are inside the agent and synchronized. Next, I need to select the model, turn on or off the maximum number of tokens that will be consumed for processing this scenario, and also set the maximum number of agents that will be involved in this case. For example, 10. You can also test directly within the agent itself, meaning you can ask it questions, write requests like analyze this, find errors, add, uh, remove, uh, and it will already start adapting to the training system you have set for it. That's how everything works for us. Each time you need to select a new chat. The system likes prompts, specific prompts. 
you can also familiarize yourself with the main information on the general Macon portal. There, uh, you can also read a bit about the AI agent. Now, regarding MakeGrid, in June, there were updates on the Macon platform related to MakeGrid. This automation helps businesses scale. In other words, you create more solutions, open up new opportunities, and increase the level of automation. As soon as you uh, start to grow, you encounter challenges. That's why uh, MacAgrid is your solution. Because at every stage, you can see which scenario has stopped working, which one needs to be refined, which one to improve, and which one to disable. In other words, MacAgrid itself is your visual map that gives you a comprehensive view of your artificial intelligence and automation landscape. It's a cool thing. Uh, right now it's available in beta with a subscription starting from the core plan. I don't know how much it will cost in the future, but I've read the creator's stories. It's really a cool thing because many people um, have managed to transfer their visual tasks from paper onto this map. And every time you create something big, something large scale, something global, visualization helps you reach your goal. What are the main advantages? It's automatic detection and getting a holistic view of your automation landscape, managing dependencies, and you don't have to guess where a table, field, or web service is used. Then you also optimize communication, knowledge sharing, and you can forget about complicated diagrams to explain the overall picture of your automation system. This is what we are now gradually going to incorporate into our Angels World Core, because everything I visualized in my mind, I drew it on paper. But now I'm gradually preparing draft versions to transfer this into automation. Next, we'll see how we can create a prototype of the media system that will allow us to work automatically. So stay tuned for updates. There will be a small announcement. Or come join me and uh, we'll fine tune it together. Here in MakerIt, you also have uh, visual troubleshooting instant insight into exactly where the application is being used and what needs to be changed. Who is this organization suitable for? It will be most useful for um, those with a medium or high level of automation maturity and uh, roughly more than 20 active make read scenarios. When I was showing this system, you saw that um, I have a lot of different examples, but I don't use all of them. But Grid is already up and running. When you have a bunch of developments, it already shows you where to insert what. So let's sum up, friends. Today, I showed you the simplest, most basic scenario, which involves my marketing assistant who distributes tasks among different specialists in a Slack channel. But you can create your own warehouse agent who checks inventory levels for orders. For example, an HR bot that uh, analyzes, resumes, logging, a task coordinator, task creation, and reminders. So even when I mentioned at the beginning about connecting new AI applications, there was physical mail delivery included. Just imagine how many possibilities you can achieve with Makeum. I should mention that data storage is still an open question at the moment. I believe we will find a solution that will help us keep our data in one place and work more securely. To summarize, automation was yesterday. Today, it's all about architecture, because with GRID, you can visualize your system, see how you can expand your task branches, reduce costs on routine tasks, grow your team and help your business develop. And uh, overall, if you look at it, the agent is like a neuron. A neuron that builds the system and shapes its own way of thinking. So if you want less chaos and more results, build logical, simple, and reliable agents, and manage them like a network. Today, we looked at an example based on the Maycom platform. We also have a specialist who works on automation using N8N. We are still waiting for his project related to automating a, a crypto bot. So I hope we'll be able to publish that video soon. Think about how many routine tasks you can reduce with automation and Angel's Word can help you with that. So come to us for a consultation.
we'll be glad to help. We love thinking, we love creating, we love building workflows. So if you need our help, please reach out. And uh, you can also try our new Google Forms, which I'll send through my automation on Maycom. All right, subscribe, like, and please leave any questions about automation. I'm really interested in exploring this topic further. I think I'll be focusing more on this in the near future. But still, my main focus is video production. And of course, I'd like to integrate these two systems and create my own Ecomedia system, which I'm currently working on, so that later I can help others save time and get more value and profit from the process. Goodbye, everyone.